Welcome back, everyone. Tailor your banking needs with your lifestyle with the help of First Community Bank. Joining me now for the sponsored interview is Brian Jack, the CFO of First Community Bank. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, Brian, so let's talk about First Community Bank. I was stunned to find out you've been in the community for more than a century. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have our roots as First National Bank of Layton. We opened up our first branch in 1905, so we've been around for more than a century helping our customers build their dreams. So Ryan, I think the bank knows a little bit about relationships and how to garner that and make sure you're taking care of the customer. Absolutely. Relationship banking is so important. It transcends the transactions. It's an opportunity for your bank representative, the bank, to leverage its financial expertise that and generate tailored and customized plans to help you achieve your financial freedom and where you ultimately want to be. It's, it's exciting. Well, Brian, it makes sense. I mean, they're, they're handling your finances and your money, but I never truly looked at it that way. You go to the teller, you say, here's the money, I need some money, and then buy, mm -hmm. right? But there's more to it. And why is it such a benefit? It's such a benefit in such that there are so many different resources to be able to look at your situation, to be able to say, you know what, maybe this can help achieve or fill a gap in a certain area that, so let's be honest, we may not know or we may not have had the experience to know that, that there's something there. Well, you may have some unique circumstances. You may have some things going on in your life and the bank may not even know. They don't know unless you talk about it. And unfortunately, when it comes to finances, things can happen. Absolutely. And this actually did happen. I had my my money and my checks stolen, my wallet stolen. Identity theft happened, fraud happened. And I didn't truly know where to turn mm -hmm. when it comes to my bank. Absolutely. A bank is such a big resource here, especially in those situations you just described. You know, as opposed to having to call a 1-800 number being shipped off to Chumbawamba, yeah. you can actually have somebody that you know, their name, that you can go either into the branch or to call them on the phone, who will walk, walk you through everything that needs to be done. You already have the confidence in that individual, in that financial institution, and you know you're going to be taken care of. I didn't know that this was a possibility, that you can ask for more or you can have this relationship. And I don't think I really realized it until I opened accounts for my kids. And they spent a couple of hours with my kids. So you, they know all of your information at this point. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I, I love that you mentioned that. It, it's really the opportunity to get you and understand your situation of where you're at, your hopes, dreams, where you want to be. And let's build a plan to get you there. Okay, so if you are banking with, um, and you've been with the bank for a while, how do you start that relationship? Can you say, hey, I'd like to meet with someone, or, or how do you establish that relationship? Absolutely. There are really the easiest ways to walk into a branch, meet with a branch manager and say, hey, I have some things I want to talk to you about, and I want to leverage your expertise, your knowledge, and the resources you have. I have things to do. I have dreams to accomplish. Let's set a roadmap to get me there. And it doesn't matter if you've been banking for years and years, you can start fresh. Absolutely. Get to know your bank. Absolutely, get to know your bank. Okay, and so that is something that uh, maybe people might not realize, and but the benefits, they can help you reach your financial goals. And building a relationship is not the time, at the same time when you have an emergency. Exactly. You wanna already have that established, right? Absolutely, and so that's why it's so important to have frequent and often conversations with your banker. Okay, and so if they want to go to First Community Bank and they want to establish that relationship, how can they do that? Absolutely. You can go on to fcbutah.com and find out all of our locations throughout the Wasatch Front. Come in, talk with a banker, explain your circumstances and your situation, and watch the magic happen. Brian, why is it important for First Community Bank to have that as their forefront and a priority? Well, we're always about the relationship. We're never about the transactional. We want to understand the entire situation. If we look at things on a transactional basis, they're one-offs. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's a cute little solution for a, you know, a, B, or C situation. Whereas we want, we're all about the long-term relationship, the long-term success of everybody in our community. 
hey, if there's success with the customer, there's success with the bank. Absolutely. Right? A win-win. Absolutely. All right. That information right there on your screen right now, fcbutah.com. Yes. Thank you so much. Really informational. And also a second look at your bank and say, hey, maybe I establish a little relationship there. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for First Community Bank for sponsoring this interview. Now